What's up everyone? This is John. And I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and we are here at the ASICS Uplift House and we just got word from our good friend Bob Thay himself that he might have the first couple pairs of the ASICS Kayano 30. Man, I am excited to try these out. Let's go grab them, get them on feet and take it to the trails and give them a little test. Let's get after it. Right, John just wrapped up our first run in the Kayano 30, five miles in the books. And you know, Kayano came in big this year. We've seen year after year, the Kayano has always been that reliable max stability shoe. And now with version 30, it's committed to that new look, that new image, that new feel. And we've got a shoe now that I think I'll consider in my lineup. The Kayano's never really been a shoe that I've brought out year after year. Yeah, Connor, I agree. Uh, I'm a neutral striker myself too. So I don't really take stability shoes out too much. However, based on the new technology uh, that's been put into the Kayano 30 with the 4D guidance system, it's really not abrasive and it just gives you that, that extra support. We could all use a little extra support in our lives. And I found that my feet didn't mind having this um, on foot as well. Yeah, and this 4D system, you know, it's not gonna be your typical medial posting that you've seen year after year in stability shoes. It's really a full system that has a couple components. You know, you've obviously got the wider platform that I definitely notice you get that inherent stability as you're going through your stride. But the one thing I noticed was this little insert on the medial side, not a traditional medial posting, but almost a more responsive foam that really pops me out as I went through my stride. I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a fast shoe. It's still gonna be that classic, cushion, stable shoe, just great for those cruising miles, long runs, recovery days, and anything in between. Yeah, definitely. I feel like on the beautiful Charles River here, we had the perfect setting to take this for a run. Uh, this is the type of setting that uh, this shoe seems to be made for. We just want to take some easy miles and feel that nice cushioning offered by the um, Flight Foam Blast Plus. You can really feel the Pure Gel 2 insert embedded in the midsole where it uh, absorbs that impact and agreed with the little insert here, you get that extra pop. So it felt great when we were just running around and doing some easy miles, but then also picking up some strides. I felt like the Kayano really helped with that and, and could handle it. Yeah, and when you think about Kayano, you normally think stability, but another key component with this is the new midsole cushioning. We've got Blast Plus throughout the shoe and it just feels really nice. You got four millimeters extra stack. And I feel like over the past couple years, the Kayano was always a more highly cushioned shoe, but it just really wasn't keeping up with the trends with the higher stack. Now close to 40 millimeters, it's got plenty of cushioning for any distance. It's got a nice softer-ish feel. I'd say compared to the Nimbus, it's not quite as soft, maybe not quite as plushy. You get a little bit more of that stability feel, but for comparison to some of the other stability shoes, I will say it is on the softer side. Yeah, definitely. And that extra stack, like you were saying, it really makes a huge difference. This day and age, I mean, 40 seems to sort of be the base these days. And to get the cushioning where it's at, um, like you said, it's not as plush as a Nimbus, but the fact that we can even kind of make that comparison of that familiar feel of that Flight Foam Blast uh, Plus, it really feels nice underfoot and you get that extra pop. So I think this is a nice compliment uh, for those who want that sort of Nimbus experience. Uh, to pick it up a little bit more in a stability shoe. Yeah, moving on down to the outsole. Really, not too much to talk about. We haven't got the miles in to truly test the durability, but enough traction for the roads out here. You know, I was expecting maybe some rain here in Boston, but we actually got a nice sunny day, so didn't get to test that wet traction, but overall, no complaints on outsole. Yeah, it seems like we brought the weather from California here to Boston 
Um, yeah, they also performed really well. We were doing some dirt trails, some pavement, so uh, the Kiona was able to handle all that. Yeah, and finishing the shoe off, of course, the upper, you got that plush luxury comfort. You know, we compared back to the Nimbus, and I will say, when I got the Nimbus on, you got this amazing on-foot experience, and I think there are some similarities here, but I do feel like this is a little bit more built up, a little bit more supportive. Again, going back to that stability theme, it is just gonna be a little bit more focused on that wrap as opposed to just that pure luxury comfort. Yeah, from top to bottom, ASICs really focused on that uh, protective adaptive stability system and the 4D guidance system. Really, every single component was built to offer that extra protection for those who need it. And it also is uh, nice enough for those who maybe didn't think they need it. This really does seem like a good invitation for anyone who wants to give this shoe a try uh, to have an enjoyable experience. Yeah, you know, I think the last Kayano that I really put miles in was maybe the 16 or 17. It's been a while, but now with the 30, it's got me interested again in the Kayano. I think this is gonna be a shoe that the max stability lovers are gonna come back to, but I think maybe some runners who haven't been in the Kayano for a while are gonna see themselves coming back to the Kayano 30. Absolutely, we really enjoyed the first run of these. And if you're looking to get this shoe on feet, you can find it here at Running Warehouse.